Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Marcus back for another video. I'm here to talk about Where the Campbell Season 1, Episode 8. Um, I can't remember what the name of the title is, but it'll be in the title bar down below. So, the episode starts off with Erica and Warren are supposed to be working out, but they was, first of all, I'm like, why are y'all walking down the middle of the street? But whatever. Um... And so they're talking about um, Joy's video and how dope it was and whatever and what have you. So Warren says that he wants to use the same guy that produced the Cocoa Butter video to produce the All of My Life video. Um, and Erica's like, well, you know, I got to find time to squeeze in a video because, you know, she has so many things going on. Um... You know, Warren's still dealing with... Now, I'm confused because it's... Now, I don't know if maybe it's the editing or what. Because it's like in some scenes, he's hands-free. He's, you know, willy-nilly. Then, then you'll come back and there's another scene. He got the cast on. I'm just like, girl, with the arm brace on. I'm like... I don't know. I ain't never had a broken arm or had to have my arm in a sling, so I don't know if maybe you have to wear it out every now and then to kind of, you know, try to move it around and play with it or what. But anyway, so the next scene we see Erica and Misty are on a video chat with this guy named Vernon, who's Erica's business partner. Did y'all know she had a hairline? Like, I, this is something that missed, that I missed. So the guy basically tells her that, you know, the site has grown. There's a lot of people that come to the site and they, you know, get in contact with him and ask him how much is this, how much is that. And they say, okay, well, I'm going to go online and buy it. But then they never buy it. Um, you know, Erica says that her hair is not sold in stores. It's only online. And so she has to come up with a way to try to get market and get her stuff out there. I'm just like, girl, don't you have Instagram? Don't you have social media? Because I, I follow her on Instagram. I don't think I've really ever seen much about her hairline on Instagram. Um... So, he suggests, you know, doing a hair show. She says, I would love to do a hair show. And so, she comes up with this idea of doing like a concert slash hair show where, I guess like in between her songs, she's going to have models come out and model the hair. And then I think every now, I think she's going to also wear the wigs and I guess like switch wigs in between the songs. That's supposed to be her way to introduce the hair. Um, so... He Vernon says that he's going to try to look into it and him and Misty are going to work on it. They're going to put it now. I was sitting here confused and it's funny that Erica was like, why do I keep taking on all these projects? Because I was just sitting here thinking that you had just said in the other scene that you did, had to find time to do a music video for your record. But now you sit here taking on something else. Because that was, you know, one of the big issues with... Now I understand, you know wanting to do different business ventures and you know things of that nature but it's like at a certain extent like girl you don't want to overwork yourself either especially when it's just her by herself or her and Misty like she don't have a whole team of people that can kind of take over things in her absence so it's you know at this particular point it's kind of like you know if she's not there or not able to do or fulfill whatever the obligation is and it's, it's just not going to happen versus when you have a team or have people working under you that you trust. You cannot be there. And whatever the, the, the event or whatever it is. It'll still flow together the way it's supposed to be. So I'm just like girl. if I, I feel like with all this stuff she's taking on. She definitely needs to have more than just a personal assistant. Maybe a, you know, a couple assistants. Or somebody like I said that she can trust. That can work under her. Or stand in her place in her absence. Um, so we get to a scene where Erica calls. Was calling Krista like girl you've been stealing my concealer or whatever it is and Krista comes in and says yeah they have this whole back and forth about Krista being a thief Krista was trying to say I didn't steal it I borrowed it but Erica was like girl you came in here you didn't ask me if I could use it and I didn't know you had it so you stole it so uh, it's the typical conversation you know a 13 year old girl wearing makeup Krista says that what it comes down to, she was she wants to wear makeup because her friend was wearing makeup, even though she was trying to justify. It, but that's really what it is. Her friends wear makeup, so she want to wear makeup. Um, you know, because Erica 
you know, was a teenage girl once before, she kind of understands where Krista is coming from. But I think she already knew that Warren wasn't going to really be here for it. And I think Krista knew that too. That's why when Erica was like, you know, I have to tell your daddy, she was, Krista was like, girl. Um, Erica and Krista also kind of let it slip that she'd been wearing makeup to school. Um, so I'm assuming that I guess maybe when she gets to school, she runs in the bathroom real quick and puts makeup on because I, I don't, I'm pretty sure they get dropped off at school. I don't think they ride the school bus. Um, so the next day, Erica is fixing more some breakfast. Now, I know that, you know, couples have nicknames like Bae, Boo, whatever, but I'm just re real getting sick and tired of hearing her call him husband. Like, girl, because I think Tina does the same thing to Teddy. But anyway, so she kind of breaks it down to him that Chris has been wearing makeup. Now, you know, like she told him, it's just a little, like, shimmer. She doesn't wear lipstick, eyeshadow, lashes, blush, none of that stuff. It's just a little shimmer to kind of make her feel more self-confident. Um... You know, Warren is still stuck on the, is you know, had the viewpoint of like this is my little girl. You know, she's growing up too fast. Um, he feels like you know if we start letting her wear makeup, you know, next thing you know, some it, she's gonna want to do X, Y, and Z. Which you know, as a father, of course, you're gonna be overprotective of your daughter because in his mindset, he feels like you know, if she starts wearing makeup or starts doing things to enhance her beauty then that's going to make boys look at her more because y'all remember she had this issue, the situation a couple episodes back where the boys don't really look at her as like pretty or nothing like that. She's more of like the cute girl or the home girl. Um, but you know, Erica kind of tells him like, girl, you know, we have to, her whole thing was, you know, she, she kind of, agrees with Chris to kind of wear makeup to a certain extent because she wants her to feel good about herself because you know like Erica said you can validate your child tell them how pretty they are how special they are you know they're fearfully and wonderfully made they're the apple of God's eye they were created in God's image you know all of this sweet stuff you can tell your child but at the end of the day they still have to go to school they still have to be amongst other children not only will they be not only will she be compared to other girls but she's going to compare herself to other girls um, and you know, that's where a lot of, you know, a lot of girls deal with low self-esteem and poor, low self-image and stuff like that. Um, so if she is able to kind of, you know, do these certain things to enhance her beauty, so to speak, she will feel more confident about herself and she'll be less likely to struggle with her, uh, body image and self-esteem. So the next thing we get to, we see Erica and Warren are in the car and he tells her that, um, he was able to book the director for the, to do the All of My Life video. Now somehow she goes from that to talking about the hair show and the concert. Um, and she kind of explains to him, you know, as far as trying to put the hairline out there to make it, make people more aware of what she got going on or whatever. He comes up with this name I hear music I thought it was corny but Erica liked it so in her mind she's like okay we're gonna do this little event you know to, to put my stuff out there keep it moving so he goes in and talking about we can turn it into a hair and music festival you know it can be a two-day thing we can do it once a year and her confessional she was like girl you doing the most I wasn't trying to do no no every year type thing it's just a one-time thing to put my name out there and we can keep it moving so the next thing we see where Misty and Erica were going over her calendar because she said that you know within the next few weeks they have to do the all of my life video and the hair show Erica asked Misty you know is there even enough hours in a day or enough time to be able to plan and execute it she says not if what did she say there's not enough time for us to do it to the level that we would be satisfied with. And so um, she says she's going to have to push the music show. Um, but I kind of feel like, first of all, why didn't you check your calendar before agreeing, agreeing to do the hair show? So I'm assuming between this scene and the scene prior, 
they must have had chatted with Vernon again and he gave them a date. But my thing is, you should have checked your calendar and said, okay, I'll, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Versus you just, okay, yeah, I'm, we gonna do it. Like, girl. But anyway. So, the next scene we see Warren is in a sweat box. He's trying to lose weight before the video shoot, you know, because of his arm. I mean, his shoulder. He can't really work out like he wants to. Um... So he was trying to like he's trying to lose seven or eight pounds because he don't want to be on the camera, and he kind of thickums and she's slim, and people be looking at him like, well, how did he get her? Now mind you, Warren ain't never been real slim, and he's always been thicker than Erica. Even going when you, when you go back to when they first got together, when they first got married, he was a little bit thicker than her. Um, but whatever. So. We see what Erica and Misty are on the conference call with Vernon. And she tells him that she wants to move the date of the hair show. Um, and, you know, you could tell that he was disappointed because he was just like, you know, we put a lot of planning into this and whatever. And she kept assuring him, like, you know, we're not canceling it. We're just moving the date. And so he tells her, like, girl, I canceled a trip to Greece to do this for you. And so in her confession, she was just like, you know, if I burn bridges with him, it's, it's, it's done and over with. Um... Now, I would have been pissed off girl, if I didn't cancel my trip to Greece and then you come tell me, oh, I got to move the date back. But, you know, he, she kind of assures him and says that, you know, we can still do things between now and then to kind of help market and put things out there before the actual hair and music show. Um, you know, he says, okay, he going to go along with it. But he was like, girl, you owe me a trip to Greece when this is done and over with. Um... She says, well, you know, I'll send you a, send you to Greece first class. But I'm just like, girl, how you got money to send him to Greece and you still owe uh, Sony Records some money? But anyway, so, so Warren goes and picks Chris up from school. They having daddy-daughter time. And he tells her that, you know, he's nervous about her growing up. Um, but then he also says that he's also excited because of, you know, what him and Erica have poured into her. Um, he's excited to see what the type of woman she becomes um so he tells her that he got a surprise for her at the house so they go to the house and when she comes into the kitchen he's hired a makeup artist to kind of help her with or to show her how to put on makeup and still be tasteful with it because she is 13 you know she don't need a whole 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 lot of makeup um which i think i <laughs> I guess it depends on how you were raised because a lot of times the way people raise their children is sometimes reflective of how they were raised. And so some people may look at it as 13 being too young to wear makeup. But I think that me personally, I don't feel like 13 wearing makeup is a, is a daily thing. Like you, oh, I'm going to school, I'm going to put on my, I feel like maybe for like a wedding or a special occasion or something like that, you can put on your little makeup. But as far as it being like a daily routine, I don't, I feel like 13 is too young for that. And at the same time, with you being 13, I do feel like it should be tasteful. Um, you shouldn't be walking around looking like a clown or looking like a drag queen. You know, it should, like I said, it should be tasteful. So the lady was, uh, her name was Dee Dee, I think. And she was, you know, helping her, giving her some tips, showing her how to do it and still be tasteful. And, you know, after Warren was sat down and watched how she did it, he was kind of like, okay, you know, he felt more. I think that he still hasn't gotten on, gotten accepted the the idea of her wearing makeup but i think that he's more okay with it now that he actually was able to sit down and watch her and how she do it but that still don't mean that when she go to school she's not gonna run in the bathroom and put on some extra makeup and then just wipe it off real quick before she get in the car and come back home because mind you the lady did buy her some wipes like girl you know because you know people they say i don't know but you know the women say it's dangerous to go to sleep with your makeup on but anyway um so yeah, that scene was cute. I thought it was funny how when Erica came up in there like, girl, what's you know, what's going on? Warren said, girl, get on up out of here. You doing Okay, so the last uh couple of scenes, we see Misty and Erica come to sit down and talk about some of the things that they're gonna do to try to boost Erica's um hairline uh before the hair show. And so they are gonna do a social media challenge where basically Erica she uploads a video to Instagram asking her followers that have purchased any of her hair to post a picture um of the of themselves wearing whatever hair whether it's bundles wigs whatever and they're supposed to hashtag 
so I think I can't remember if they're supposed to hashtag something or if they're supposed to tag her in the picture. But whoever looks the best, they're going to do a digital meet and greet with her. Um, and I think that was it for that scene. So the next scene, well, the last scene really is the video shoot. Erica shows up first. Um, she goes and gets her hair done, makeup done. Warren hasn't gotten there yet, so they're going to do all of the scenes with just Erica by herself. Um... Erica eventually comes in and he goes and looks through his stuff and everything is too small. It's like mediums and larges. He says he wears 2X. Now I'm confused but I would think that when you're a stylist you're supposed to know what size the the clients wear. And I'm like see girl this why this why y'all should have had Google. Cause Google would have had this stuff down a lot. But you know Google was booked and busy. She don't have time for y'all. But I'm just like who did y'all hire that they come and bring 2x extra large large three size two and three sizes too small clothes but at the same time i said well they, they could have went and got worn a, a, a man girdle he probably could have squeezed into that medium anyway so he leaves goes gets clothes and comes back and they were kind of pressed for time because they were trying to do they want to do all the roof shots before the sun went down but he makes it back they do the scene from what i can see the video look like it's gonna be dope i haven't well I'm gonna go on YouTube after I finish this and see if the see if the video was up there yet. Um, but like I said last week, I like the song. The song is actually is is dope. I think the video is gonna be dope. Um, so yeah, we gonna we gonna see what it's given. But anyway, that's pretty much all that happened in this episode. But all I want to talk about anyway. So thank you all for watching. Be sure to uh, like this video, comment. As much as I say this, I should be able to say it with no issues. Be sure to like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Also, be sure to follow me on my social media, which will be in the description box down below. Also, if you've missed any of my previous With the Canvas reviews, the link to that playlist will be located in the description box down below. And I will talk to y'all later. Peace.